Hello, my friends. I'm Jean-Luc Traxel from Switzerland, and it's such a privilege to meet you again for this weekly Hope and Healing live stream show. We really know that God is alive, the God that created you. He loves you so much. And tonight we are not going to speak about religion or church or denominations. We want to pray, to speak and to talk about the one where there is hope. There is a Bible verse that I read this morning that touched me very deeply. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. I pray really tonight that all those who are going to connect or those who are already connecting, which I welcome all of you, that this unfailing love of God may surround you in this challenging season. I know it is a challenging season for all of us. Nobody is spared. Uh, it is really challenging. I know it could be because you are a businessman, you have so many decisions to take, or maybe because you are sick, you are alone, or maybe you are suffering from coronavirus or another virus. And that's the purpose of tonight. We want to bring you hope and healing. We are going to pray tonight for the sick because the same God who came 2,000 years ago on this earth, and his name is Jesus, he didn't come to start a new religion or to start a new church, but Jesus came to seek those who are lost and to heal the sick, to deliver the captives. And tonight we are going to pray for the sick. So be sure to invite some friends share the post on your social media, on your Facebook, just share it to your own social media that your family and your friends can follow the, follow all this show. It's going to be awesome. Uh, also, I would love to encourage you to go to my brand new website, JeanLucTraxel.org, where you can find many information and mainly I'm launching this week a weekly hope inspiration. Every week I'm going to write a speci specific subject, uh, very short but very powerful, that will help you to find hope, uh, not only in your spiritual life, but on your daily life, in your family life, in your finances, uh, in, your, in your business as well, because I do believe that God loves us and is willing to be with us uh, everywhere we are going. So tonight, it's a very, very a uh, great joy to introduce a special guest speaker. Actually, he's from the Netherlands, uh, and many people told us, uh, told me that I had a twin brother in the Netherlands. I never knew about that until I met him. Uh, is we are very similar for many things, uh, and one thing is for sure we have the same dad, the same father, and his name is Jesus. Is God. We love him so much. And I would love to introduce this special guest speaker. His name is Mateus van der Steen. Mateus, welcome for this weekly hope and healing show. It's going to be powerful because I know that you are already full of joy, full of his presence. And you have a hope message for our viewers today. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you so much, Jean-Luc, and it's true, you are my spiritually twin brother, sharing the same daddy like millions around the earth, and uh, it's so good to be with you tonight. And I'm doing good, I'm doing great. Um, right now it's storming around our house, there is a low pressure uh, above the Netherlands, and actually I hear uh, the wind around this house with 100 kilometers per hour. And it's almost like spiritually that many of you who are watching from your home uh, due to this crisis, what is uh, going around, especially again uh, here in uh, <coughs> Europe, we are is seeing uh, like a second wave of Corona with a lot of regulations and a lot of lockdowns uh, as well in the other parts of the world. And wh while I was just uh, praying uh, before we were going live and I heard the wind and the storm around this house, I do believe that the Lord is going to touch your heart right now, not at just the end of this program, but just right now. 
And it doesn't mean there, it doesn't mean if you are, are, are not a believer, uh, God wants to touch every person watching and hearing my voice. And um, I have a scripture I want to uh, read with you. It's out of uh, Jeremiah 29, verse 11 to 14. Uh, it's my favorite scripture. And uh, it's a scripture full of hope. It's a scripture full of love. It's a, a scripture that is so important and it will minister to your heart. It says, for I know the plans I have for you. And with other words, that there is a father in heaven, if you believe this or not, if this is a fact, there is a father in heaven right now who is watching over you. It says in Revelation, it's an incredible scripture in the last, uh, uh, the last chapter of the, the New Testament in the Bible. And Jesus says, I knock on your door. And if you open the door, I will come and have fellowship with you. Right now, Jesus is knocking on your life. It's knocking on the door. And the only thing you have to do is to open that door. And Jesus wants to have fellowship with you. And one of the things you're going to hear is that there is a daddy in heaven who loves you. It says here in Jeremiah, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future then you will call on me and come and pray to me and i will listen to you what's an incredible thing talk praying is like talking with god you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart i will be found declares the lord I love the scripture so much because it says that there is a father in heaven who knows the plans and God has a plan for your life and God the father he's not out for destruction God the father is not out to harm you God the father is there to give you hope God the father is there to release and to reveal what he put inside of you on the moment you were born on planet earth you are born for such a time as this and maybe like now today around our house, there's a, a wind blowing. There are, there are storms of insecurity. Maybe you're in a situation that, that you're maybe losing a job or you're facing sickness. You're facing uh, loneliness because of all the lockdowns and you don't know the future. I have good news for you today. The Lord declares over you. God the Father declares over you. I have plans for your life to prosper not to harm you, to give you future, to give you hope. You know, God wants to connect with you today. It is so incredible that through internet, through the device you're watching from right now, that God the Father is coming with his love over you. I feel God's presence. When we say as Christians, we feel the anointing. What we, what we say is we feel the power and presence of God. We cannot be in your home right now. But God can be in your home right now because God the Father is everywhere through the Holy Spirit. And my prayer right now is that you're starting to experience the presence of Jesus for Christians, but specific for those you don't know what it is to have a relationship with Jesus. I ask you right now, seriously. If the king would come right now, imagine you have a king or a president and you know he's coming tonight. I'm pretty sure you will clean up your house and you will serve him the best coffee. You will be waiting at the door. The, dirt, the, the door goes, the door ring goes, and you open the door and the king comes in. The present comes in. And you will take time with him and give him all the attention and he will speak to you. Listen, we are serving the king of kings. His name is Jesus. And he wants to come in right now, tonight, right now, at this moment, at your house. And he wants to have dinner with you. He wants to fellowship with you. And he wants to talk to you that there is hope and the future and great plans for your life. In Jesus' name. That's amazing good news. Thanks so much, uh, uh, Matthews, to share that to us. Uh, but uh, I have a question like many people who are watching tonight or who are going to watch the next day. So you say that uh, God has great plan, great hope, and great future for our life. Uh, but uh, in this pandemic situation where everything is shaken, how do we know that God is real? 
Oh, that's a very good question, Sean Luke. And I think this is a question millions of people who don't know the Lord yet are asking. And actually, I tried to give that answer uh, just, just five minutes ago. The thing is, we, you can learn a lot about a king or a president or a person you really admire or you heard about, but you don't know him. And on the moment you start to knowing him, you know that 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 it's real it's real there and the only thing i can i can i can give you the best advice is to really open your heart and allow god in your life just recently my wife and i we were walking in the city center and we really felt to stop by a real estate office that's what we did and and this guy opened and he said uh, you know you want to buy a house or sell a house he said no 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 we actually want to share with you that god is real and uh, he came from a very atheistic background. He grew up with the fact that he learned that God is not there. He's not existing. But for some reasons he, in his whole life, he was searching for something. He, he used uh, drugs. He used uh, uh, girls. He used a lot of stuff to satisfy the emptiness in his life. And uh, so when we came in, he was very sarcastic. He said, yeah, how do I know that God exists? I said, the only, no, the only way to figure that out is right now to open up the, the door of your heart and invite the presence of God in your life. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, I, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I said, listen, you will probably never be ready for that. Just do it because it's an experience. And he was very sarcastic. And with open eyes, because he didn't know how to pray, he opened up his heart. He said, literally, yeah, he prayed after me. He said, Jesus, I want to open my heart. I invite you in my life. And then we let Holy Spirit flow like, like, like a river. And then uh, he started to weep. He started to feel. He said, I don't know what's going on in my body. My wife is sitting just behind the camera. She was there. And he said, I, 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 I don't know what's going on. You know, and, and he started to feel heat waves. He started to feel heat waves and uh, he surrendered his life to the Lord. He said, this is better than drugs. This is better than everything ever I tasted in my life. And right now my wife and I are able to disciple him a little bit further in, in faith. Uh, so my, my, my answer to that important question is invite Jesus right now into your life and you will experience the love and the power of God because he's real and he's in your home. That's fantastic. My friends, as you are watching from around the world, by the way, we are grateful you can text us or you can write to the text. We would love to see where you are coming from. I see people from Brazil, people from France, Brittany, hello, Bretagne. Uh, also, I see some people who are asking why it's not in French. C'est pas en français ce soir, mais vous pouvez suivre. Il y aura d'autres informations. Allez sur Facebook. Nous aurons entre autres le 29 octobre une rencontre miracle et guérison. Sorry for those who are not speaking French. I'm from the speaking French and many people from this re region are following me and uh, we're going to do other show for the French people. But uh, please write where you are coming from because we want to pray for you. We love you. We want also to pray for the sick in a few moments. But uh, Mateo, sir. Uh, you just uh, give this testimony of this uh, owner of this uh, company. Of the, actually, he was a businessman. So okay. Jesus is not just for uh, the pastor and the priest. It's for everybody, is what you say? Absolutely. He's, he, he's for, for everybody. He's for the one watching from a slum, and he's there uh, for the one who is swimming in the money somewhere maybe in America. He's, he, he died for everyone. He died specific for those who need a doctor. That Jesus is very clear about that. He said, you know, I really came for the lost. I came for the sick. And, uh, and, and, and that's my Jesus. And he wants to heal everyone. And he wants to touch every person. Well, so we want to pray for you. Again, uh, welcome for all those who are joining, those who are writing. I see people from Ivory Coast, from the U.S., many people from the U.S., uh, the U.K., the Netherlands. Uh, uh, oh, I see my friend Brett. From Belgium. Hello, Brett. So good to see you. I'm exciting to see what God is going to do through the International Association of Healing Ministries. We are grateful for that. Uh, people from Paris, uh, uh, from the British Columbia, God bless you. I love this beautiful place in Canada. I'm missing it, actually. Uh, people from Germany, uh, people from the Swiss Alps, that's probably one of the best places in the world where I am actually and uh, the Czech Republic, Lithuania, that's amazing. 
uh, France, Alsace, Alsace, it's a fantastic place where you have such a good food. Germany again, Normandy. So thanks for joining us. Please uh, write where you are coming from. Uh, and in a few minutes, we will pray for the sick. If you are sick, uh, just text us also that we can pray for you. But Matteo, so you share about this testimony, about this uh, uh, businessman who uh, you pray for him and the presence of God invade him. Can you pray for those who are watching now? Because uh, it is uh, many people maybe heard about religion or church. And tonight we are not speaking about that. We are speaking about the real God who is taking care of us, who is willing to come to our own life to bring peace in the midst of this turmoil uh, world. Uh, would you agree to pray and maybe to invite the people or to help the people who don't know how to accept Jesus in their hearts? Oh, Jean-Luc, thank you so much. This is one of my biggest pleasures and privilege to do tonight. You're going to make the most uh, incredible decision. Uh, maybe you experience a little bit like we call it spiritually warfare. Maybe you, you are like a little bit unrestful right now, but that's because the enemy uh, really actually doesn't want you to be to be safe. What you're going to do right now, I want to explain it clearly in a minute, you're going to say goodbye to your old life. With other words, you're going to say goodbye to the, the stuff, how you lived, and you're going to really invite Jesus into your life. Your life will be changed. You're going to experience peace. What is the absence of chaos? Maybe for your first time in your life. This is so fantastic. This is the best thing you ever can do. You just don't do it only for here for your time on earth, but by receiving Jesus in your life, or maybe even recommitting yourself to Jesus, you are going to receive eternal life. So from this point on, I want to make sure that I say this to you, when you close your eyes on this earth, and God forbid it, but you know, when you close your eyes on this earth, you will open your eyes in eternity with Jesus. So what we are going to do together, this coming minute is life changing. I think it's the most important thing you're going to do in your life. And you look, I even feel right now <clears throat> after we prayed, and again, when my <clears throat> throat is a little bit like, ah, I just uh, preached for two and a half hours uh, before here with uh, Jean-Luc yeah, School. Yeah, what was amazing. Um, but what I really want to say is, Jean-Luc, I also believe after we prayed, the Lord is going to release healing anointing in every home. I feel it right now. I can, I can sense the Holy Spirit. I, and I remember just a couple of uh, weeks ago, we were, uh, we were praying like this, like in a Zoom meeting. Uh, because of all the corona, we really couldn't come together. But you know, the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of God is moving in every household, tuned in right now, tonight. And while we were praying, healing, uh, a lady in Australia, this is like 50,000 miles away, she asked a request, can you please pray for my nephew who just jumped uh, outside and he was jumping like on, how do you say, trampoline and he broke his neck. And it was so severe, normally you, you don't come out very well out of that. That's what the doctor said. They, they brought him to the uh, ambulance and to the hospital and it looked very bad. And just because, you know, we, we, we pray together, the presence of Jesus came in all those houses connected to the healing prayer uh, this this young man was fully healed. His answer is unbelievable. The doctor said this that, that his neck is, is being healed. And so I, I really want to challenge you to, to stay tuned because I sense that specific in this crisis, what's going on all around the world, that God is going to show himself in such a powerful day, way. I'm, I will not be surprised. Some of you actually are starting experiencing right now even the presence of the Holy Spirit upon you. And so let's really pray. I'm going to take you in through like very simple steps. I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to come and maybe you can repeat with me. We're going to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. It's so important you're praying this out loud with me in Jesus' name. So are you ready? You are ready. That's good. So, so let's really pray together. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I believe... I believe that you are the son of God. That you are the son of God. That on that cross, that on that cross, you took all my sins. You took all my sins. All my insecurities. All my insecurities. All my fears. All my fears. All my sickness. All my sickness. You took it into the grave. You took it into the grave. 
And when the Holy Spirit rose you up, when the Holy Spirit rose you up, you set me free. You set me free. Jesus, thank you for your blood. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your forgiveness. And today, and today, I give my life to you. I give my life to you. I surrender my whole life to you, Lord Jesus. I surrender my whole life to you, Jesus. I say to Satan, I say to Satan, you are over in my life. You are over in my life. I belong today to Jesus Christ. I belong today to Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus, I receive peace right now. And Lord Jesus, I receive your peace. Right I now. receive your forgiveness. I receive your forgiveness. Thank you that I am forgiven of all my sin. Thank you because I'm forgiven of all my sins. Thank you for eternal life. Thank you for eternal life. I want to live my life with you. I want to live my life for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And I want to pray and minister. You don't have to pray now with me. But Holy Spirit, we thank you for what you're doing right now in all those lives who just surrendered their life to you. Lord, the president. Lord, the, the housewife. The one in business. Lord, every person watching and hearing my voice, I ask you, Holy Spirit, to come right now. That they are be able to receive and feel and experience the, your power, your love in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. And Jesus is not about a religion. Jesus is the God who loves you and is willing to set you free from all these fears, insecurities, and is willing to bring you peace. Even if you are a Christian, Right now, just open yourself to the atmosphere of heaven. And that's the goal of this hope and healing show, is to bring God's kingdom with his presence, his joy, his uh, anointing, his, his freedom, that it can invade your house. Because I know, even if we are Christian, the devil, the atmosphere of what's happening today is trying to disturb you and to bring fear. So today, I really want to invite you to put your faith, to put your hope in this God Almighty. And right now, in Jesus' name, we pray for peace in, our, in your family, peace in your house. In Jesus' name, we pray for your teenagers, your children, your grandchildren. We pray for the peace of God over you. In the name of Jesus, uh, my friend, if you want to know more about Jesus, uh, find out a Bible. You can even download free on Internet, wherever you can just download for free. Read the Bible because it's God's word. He's willing to talk to you. He's willing to give you advice, uh, not only for your spiritual life, but for your daily life, for your family, for your business. And today... God is really willing to talk to you. We are willing to pray also now for the sick, but for those who did the prayers after Matthew, so we want to be in touch with you. Please contact us. You can go to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org, where you will find all the information to go further with your life, with Jesus, even to explain you the first step you did because it's not just a prayer. He's really willing to walk with you. He's willing to be your good dad and to help you to grow in his presence. Uh, but let's pray now for the sick. If you are sick, uh, please just write us what you need. Uh, again, I welcome all those who just join us. Uh, uh, people, of course, from Switzerland. I love my country. People from Lettonia or from Malaysia. Uh, France, of course, many people from France, we are grateful, we love France. Uh, people from Germany already said that. Uh, so God bless you. And we want to pray now for the sick because God is the healer. Uh, he's not a talker. He's not bringing theology and uh, theory. Uh, even if good theology is good, but God is the real God. And with my twin brother from the Netherlands, we are going to pray now for you if you are sick. But please write us to the text 
what we need, what you need, what kind of prayer you need. Uh, and we are expecting tonight many people going to be healed in Jesus' name. Also, I encourage you before we pray, just go to my website to receive uh, this free weekly hope inspiration uh, for free. It's not pay, there is not a trick, it's for free. I really felt from the Lord to write every week uh, some words of hope for your own life, your family, and that's the reason I encourage you to go to the website and you will find also other things. Uh, this week I'm launching a special teaching that I'm sure you will like it. But now let's pray for the sick uh, and let's ask God to touch you where you are. Lord God, as I am with my twin brother, Mateo, so we met you, we know you personally, and we have seen thousands of healings and miracles. Uh, and we know that everything is possible. And that's the reason we put our faith, our hope in you. And like we wrote, we read, like Matthew read, uh, you have some a great hope, uh, a great future for all of us, uh, meaning a good health. Uh, and that's the reason, in the name of Jesus, uh, I take authority over every sickness, every disease. In the name of Jesus, I set you free from all this pain, all the things that bring trouble to you in Jesus' name. I know many people are writing regarding physical healing, and we're going to pray for that. But I feel very strongly when I was praying for tonight that the Lord is willing to invade your house, your place. Yes. Mateus, I remember a few years ago how you were desperate in your own life and in your own family. And you cry out to the Lord and the Lord brought his peace and his presence. Can you share a few things and mainly to pray for those who are in turbulences regarding their family? Yes, 100% Lisha, look, thank you so much. Again, we really feel right now the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says clearly where two or three are in my name gathered, whatever they ask and pray, I will give it to them. They are able to bind things, they bind evil, and they release heaven and healing and peace. And I went through a very difficult situation in my life, 2016, 2017, what was far away from peace, uh, a devastated uh, personal private situation. And in that, in that very difficult season, I experienced the Lord in such a deep way that, uh, that I, I'm going to pray that as well over all of you. It was for me an impossible situation. It was almost like Moses. And some of you, you feel that right now. It's almost like you have the calling of the Lord in your life. You heard a sound of revival, but it seems like in this season, the opposite is happening in your life. In front of you is this, this sea and in the back is the enemy. And, and you, you feel like stuck. You feel stuck in your situation. And listen, God is able to do a miracle tonight in your life, in your physical life, in your emotional life. He is there. There is like a rod of authority in your home right now, even in your hand. There is authority and territory in your hand. And the Lord is going to split that sea. Listen, you cannot go back anymore because that's the old. The Lord wants to you to step into the new. And into the new, that's scary. I was in a very difficult situation i cannot go too much in detail but i can i can say it was like almost it felt like hell but you know what in hell jesus is there in the most difficult situation psalm 23 says there's a table in the midst of your enemies in the midst of your storm there is this table and i want you to sit down there and experience in that situation my peace i can tell you the peace is not a feeling it has a name and his name is jesus and he is right now with you in your house. Remember the disciples and for those who are not Christians, when Jesus uh, died on the cross and, and, and he rose up again, the disciples were afraid together. Serious in the Bible, it says they were in the lockdown. They were in the lockdown fearfully. And then suddenly Jesus appeared in the room. He showed them the hands where they nailed Jesus on the cross. They couldn't almost believe it. And Jesus said three times, Shalom, I give to you. It changed their life. And I believe right now that the shalom of Jesus in the midst of maybe a family situation, in the midst of a financial crisis will come and overtake 
all your situations right now. It doesn't, I don't say that your situation is changed, but the atmosphere is changed. And now you're going to respond from peace. And the peace of God is right now in your home. And we're going to release peace to you. Do you know if you experience the peace of Jesus, healing is in his peace. Anxiety has to go in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And we pray restoration in your family, in your relation with your children, in your couple. Even if it seems that it's a dead hand, it's not. We pray for a new way as the Lord is going to bring healings and miracles in your couple. That's in your right. your life as well, in Jesus' name, in your relation between generation to generation. We release hope and healing in your house. Uh, in Jesus' name, now let's pray for the sick. Uh, there are so many people who are writing tonight. Uh, I want to tell you, I'm not the healer. Matthews is not the healer, but Jesus is the healer. And in him, there is hope and healing. And that's the reason we are going to ask him to touch you where you are. Lord Jesus, you died on the cross 2,000 years ago, and you rose again, and you are alive tonight to heal the sick people. That's for in Jesus' name, every pain, every virus, every uh, sickness has to leave the body of uh, the people who are watching in Jesus' name, I pray, Lord God, for a uh, different name that just wrote, uh, you are suffering from the knee trouble, who has to be replaced. I've seen so many healings of knee trouble, even some bones who have been recreated because God is the God of miracles. So be healed in the name of Jesus from every trouble of the knee. In Jesus' name, somebody who is suffering from coronavirus, uh, I set you free from this demonic disease. I command you health, the health of God to invade your body, your immune system to be restored by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free from any trouble in your lungs and in your breath system. In Jesus' name, be healed. A neurological disease. In Jesus' name, I break the problem, this disease who brought this trouble be healed in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray for Ellen who has a tightness in the neck and left side on shoulder. In Jesus' name, be free. Let this muscle, these nerves be touched in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, I pray also for Vanessa who is suffering from severe insomnia. And I know that there are many people who, are who have trouble to sleep. Uh, the Bible said, God said that he's giving his peace and good sleep to his children. So in Jesus' name, receive right now a good sleep for this night and the next days. In Jesus' name, so many other trouble uh, receive the, the, the freedom from anxiety, from depression. In Jesus' name, be healed from scoliosis. Uh, I re release the power of God to your stomach, to the liver problem in Jesus' name. I don't know what's this syndrome, the syndrome, the Marfan. Be free from that terrible disease in the name of Jesus. Uh, receive your healing. Matthews, uh, maybe you cannot see all what the people are writing, but maybe you have words of knowledge of what God is willing to do before we close because we are almost arriving at the end. We cannot hear you. Can you, can the technical, there is a technical issue. We can no more hear you. Do you hear us? Seems that something happened, but the God is moving and healing. Uh, can you hear us, Matt? We cannot hear you. So sad. But uh, as we are together, that's the life. Uh, sometimes we have technical issue. Is it okay with the mic? We cannot hear it. Uh, so no problem. We stretch our hands together, even if we cannot hear. We release the presence and the power of God 
to all those who need uh, healings and miracles tonight. Uh, in Jesus' name, you know all the situation. And even if we cannot hear Matthew is uh, willing to release some words of knowledge, uh, that's revelation from God, uh, we receive it uh, and we set you free in Jesus' name from all kind of disease. Uh, I command this hyperthyroid uh, to be healed in the name of Jesus. Uh, receive your healing right now and so many other diseases. So receive your healing in Jesus' name. My friends, one thing is very important, as important as the prayer, start to do something that you couldn't do. If you couldn't move, start to move, check your neck, check where you had pain, and you will see that God is healing you. And please write us, write us the testimonies. It will be such a blessing in Jesus' name. So may the Lord bless you. Matt, do we still hear you? Can you yeah. Matt, I can, we can hear you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh, something happened in the atmosphere, so everything no, was normally. No but I, uh, give me one more minute. So Holy Spirit, I thank you so much. You know, let's really rejoice because of this attack. Because, you know, I, I, I do believe that the, the Lord wants me to speak this to you. There are three things the Lord wants to heal right now. I heard clearly the sound of crushed kidney stones, crushed uh, kidney stones. And I do believe that even right now, some of you, you are running to the toilet. You are, you're, you experience pain for so long. Tonight is your night. Many kidney stones are, are being healed right now because I heard a sound of crushed kidney stones. And let us know if that was you. Uh, tonight you will pee it out without pain in Jesus' mighty name. As well, uh, there is like an incredible anointing right now for a healing in every uh, area of cancer. A lot of people are are uh, experiencing sk uh, skin cancer to really incurable cancers. But I do believe that Jesus right now is, is, is there to heal you. And we command right now uh, every form of cancer to leave this body in the name of Jesus and really start to receive your healing right now. I even see some lumps and tumors uh, disappearing from your body in the name of Jesus. And the third thing I saw clearly is severe neck problems. So if that's you, you have a severe neck problem through an accident or this is not like a little pain you have today or because you did some sports, but like severe neck pain. Actually, it's uh, really not helping in your daily life. Right now, in Jesus' name, we command this pain to go and I release the healing power of Jesus. Lose it right now in Jesus' mighty name. And some of you, you start to actually feel the heat of God up on your neck and pain is leaving now in Jesus' name. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We pray also for Jean-Claude who has this problem with the heart. Be healed, Jean-Claude, in the name of Jesus. Also, this family who lost the grandmother today. We, are, we bring our sincere condolence to your family, but we pray that the Holy Spirit, who is the spirit of consolation, may invade your heart and invade your family. All those who are watching also, who lost somebody during this, uh, some friends or some relative in your family, we pray that the Holy Spirit may invade your house uh, and bring his comfort, uh, his peace, his presence uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray for deliverance over Jean-Charles, be, be free in Jesus' name. Also, this broken marriage and infertility issue in Jesus' name, we release the miracle of God. We have seen so many people getting healed and get being able to have children. So if you are not able to have baby, in Jesus' name, we set you free from this bareness, from this spirit that holds the blessing of God. We set you free. And we bless you in the name of Jesus. So many other people, please keep writing. I'm going to pray. I pray for all the people who are writing me. Uh, also, you can write to our ministry. We answer you back. We have a team who pray spe specifically for all the needs. And we answer to you also privately. So God bless you. Don't forget to go to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org where you can receive the free weekly hope and inspiration. It's a weekly uh, inspiration that I'm writing that will encourage you. It's for free. 
you can find also other resources on this website uh, and please join us the next week next week we're going to have another hope and healing uh, show i will have another special guest it's a great surprise you're going to be blessed mateus thanks so much for being with us tonight and uh, please give my love to your wife and your family and the dutch friends uh, we love the netherlands uh, as we love you all my friends uh, and never forget uh, there is hope in god god bless you
their children and their children may his favor be upon you. 